BMW E90 2006 ABS lights on. Now this is a little bit different to the previous video I did which was highlighting the faults with the ABS rings on the rear drive shafts. This is the corroding drive shaft ABS ring. This car we started up and almost straight away the ABS light pings on. There we go. This one, the ABS light was flashing up on the dashboard, DTC. Pop the fuse box cover in the glove box. Turn the two little black tabs inside the glove box, the back comes out. On this one it's listing six fuses for the ABS and traction control. Had a look in there, check the fuses, everything was okay. The fault that we would get with the drive shaft rings at the back, you can press the DTC button, hold it for five seconds, and it switches off the system. This one, the DTC button was doing nothing at all. No matter how much you pressed it, the ABS fault light stayed on the dashboard. So it was more of a control unit issue or a, a blown fuse, lack of power to the ECU. So the next step was then to go to the ABS ECU which is under the bonnet. You remove the cover on the right hand side. Remove the cover, there's a clip at the front, ping that one, then there's one at the back, ping that one and the little rubber bit at the side, just push that away and off she comes. Up near the, the bulkhead and it reveals the, EC, the ECU for the ABS unit and the ABS pump, it's all on the same unit. All I did with this was to pop the connector, remove it slightly, give it a wiggle, put it back on again. Just grab hold of that connector plug and you have to pull that pin up at the top. Slide that up, a bit stiff, there she goes, all the way and then you can just wiggle that, give it a good wiggle and then reconnect it back down again. Push it in and reconnect it and that's renewed the connection. And all that's doing is renewing the connections on that multi-pin and also it's almost like a battery reset if you disconnect the battery put it back on sometimes if there's a like a computer breakdown you know you'd reconnect them you'd unplug them same thing just disconnected it reconnected it bingo everything came back to life so there was an issue either with that connector block with a dry joint and a helicopter's flying over good lord <laughs> Just what my film's going on, I can't believe that. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, like I was saying, either, either a dry joint within that connector block, or we have literally just disconnected, reconnected, and it's reset that ABS ECU. As soon as we did that, put it all back together again, bingo, all came back to life. Absolutely fine. Pop that cover back down, just push it at the front and the back. That's all in position, and then we start the car and hey presto, all the lights go out as we should and it's looking good. If that's been of any use to you, please like and subscribe and thanks for watching.